Good evening, YouTube. Probably not the best um, angle to put the camera as the sun's shining through the window there, but uh, at least it's not casting any shadows, etc. Um, it's been a while since I've really done a fresh tin opening, etc. And recently I've been really enjoying the cigar cake that Yanis sent me at Christmas last year. Um, it had been sort of stuffed away in, in my humidor there and I sort of found it when I was putting some cigars in and I thought, oof, yep, yeah, it's been a while. So I've been really enjoying having a bowl of that on a night. So I thought, well, I did actually get a few cigar tobacco blends last Christmas and one of them was this Robert Lewis 123 mixture now it's got black Cavendish um, a Havana seed leaf Latakia Oriental and Turkish so it'd be interesting to see what this is like so oh well the Latakia certainly comes through in the tin note that's the first thing that's really hitting us. Actually, it's almost sort of... Mm. Yeah, that's quite a... That's quite a lot of key a hit, actually. I wasn't expecting it to be as... Um, as strong as that. I'm hoping it's not going to come across too lot of key in the smoke. Because I was hoping that this might have been a bit more cigar blend there we go looks really nice you can see that yellow virginia is in the black Cavendish in there ah well it's easing off a bit now it's not as black to heavy now yeah i'm getting a lot of sweet grassy virginia smell coming through Again, for those who missed my previous video, um, I'm still waiting to see what's going to happen with Instagram regarding my account being hacked. So to be on the safe side, because it, it appears that whoever's taken over my account is just sending out stupid Bitcoin emails and what have you. So if you're on there, please just unfollow, because I figure the quicker people unfollow their account, then they'll just tootle off and annoy some other poor fucker. The little Morgan Bones Devil Ants. And a lovely colour on there now. Lovely little pipes these. I was going to have a cigar, but this was on the on the bookcase because I've been sorting through some some tins and that recently, and I thought, "Yep, yeah, okay, it's time. Let's give it a go." Lovely nutty taste. 
Latakia and Oriental, like I say, apart from smelling that Latakia in the tin, it's probably going to be a blink and you'll miss it. It's not coming through. When I saw it had the Orientals and Turkishes, I thought, oh, it's going to be a bit, bit of OTT, but it's not. Nice retro hill there. It's not eye watering. It's not too overpowering. Again, that lovely nutty taste. <coughs> Smoke a pipe. Coffee goes the wrong way. <coughs> <clears throat> Typical. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm getting a lot of um, <clears throat> that walnut taste coming through. I might have to pause because uh, <clears throat> the coffee's definitely gone the wrong way. I'll be right back. Try again. I'll try not to rush my coffee this time. Yeah, I'm getting a really nice um, nutty taste from this. Um, slight just a little acidic bite which i want to put down as the um the orientals i don't think this has got red virginia in it, it just says virginia i'd probably need to maybe just look up on it a little bit more <clears throat> but it's not really really acidic overpowering at that point where you think you've got a nine volt battery sitting on your tongue Again, when obviously I fell into that trap, you think that when you see a cigar pipe tobacco blend that you're going to get that cigar aroma. You're not. What I tend to get from these cigar blends is that really nice leathery sort of uh, crushed walnut taste, which is coming through on this. And again, I'm just getting them little hits of the other tobaccos in there. I was told I would really enjoy this one, and I think it's definitely going to be a, a going to be a one I'll enjoy. I've been sort of holding back on some of the like the usual suspects that I do enjoy, which is the likes of the Key Largo Robusto, um, Nayale. I'm getting quite low on that one, so I need to try and get an order in with HU and get a couple of those ones sent over. But um, yeah, this one's really nice.
might actually be worth putting the Yanis cake aside and just spending a week with this. Yeah, I'm getting some of the Orientals and Latakia coming in the room note. I'm just picking up little bits, wafting around there. I'm pretty sure if I was to go out and come back in, that would definitely be uh, there to greet us. But it's not coming in very heavy in the actual pipe smoke itself when you're taking a draw on it. This is really good. Well, first impressions, this is really nice. It's not overpowering, it's not too strong. I'm not getting any nicotine hit or anything now, but then my tolerance is probably up there now, so I don't know what it would be like for somebody who was on a, a lower end of the scale. <clears throat> that retro hail, very mild. Lovely taste to it. It's going great with a cup of coffee when I'm not choking on it. So yes, I think I'm going to spend a week with this tin. I don't think it's as meaty as Key Largo. I'd probably put it in the same realm as Robusto. Just that nice, mild, enjoyable smoke. Well, I'm on holiday next week, really looking forward to it. So I'm hoping to get a couple of jobs done in here and in the summer house. Um, popping down to Blist Hill, hopefully, um, a week on Saturday. Catch up with Victorian Piper. Um, a couple of other things i try and get done next week as well, so busy holiday, so almost the, you hope it rains so you've got an excuse not to uh, be out in the garden etc, so, uh, so yeah. Hopefully get some videos done, I will have a new pipe reveal next week. Um, I've had it for a while now, um, so I've been dying to get it opened and get it smoked, so I'll not say no more, I'll do it next week, back end of next week. So yeah, can't wait. Mm. 
this is really nice. And again, if, if you get a cigar blend and you may think to yourself, well, this could just do with a bit more of a kick. There's nothing stopping you getting, you know, a cheap cigar, you know, King Edward, Toscano, you know, something like that. Just give it a chop up and chuck it in there if you want to beef it up a little bit. But um, me personally, apart from the actual fact that it doesn't smell like a cigar in here, it's got everything else going for it. Lovely taste, really nice. Glad I got two tins of this now. I'll probably keep the other one for more winter time, but very nice. I tend to find that with the weather being nice recently, it's been so much easier just coming out and having having an actual cigar. It's one of the reasons why I've been hitting the cigar blends. So um, I think this might prompt us to get a couple of others opened as well. See what they like. About time I got some reviews up. So thank you for watching. I hope everybody had a great 4th of July. Hope you're all safe and uh, had a nice, a nice meal and something really nice to smoke. And hopefully I will catch you all again real soon. Bye for now.